Have you ever done the jigsaw puzzle? It can be really frustrating, right? Because you're trying to make the pieces fit together to try and show the overall picture. Housing in New Zealand is like a giant complicated jigsaw puzzle where you're trying to work out if there's any missing pieces or what the pieces are that don't actually fit. In New Zealand, we want everyone to have safe, secure, warm, affordable housing. That's the overall picture we're trying to work on as a nation. But there's some major pieces that are missing and pieces that aren't fitting properly or working well. And the result of this is people who are homeless or sleeping rough, people who are living in unsafe emergency housing, those who are struggling to find affordable rental properties, or people who are living in transitional housing for much too long. That's the result of housing that's not working well when the picture's not working well. The housing story in this year's report is massively impacted by the huge cost of living and inflation pressures that are squeezing all New Zealanders. But we need to remember that any squeezing of families can often be more damaging for people in whānau who are homeless or sleeping rough or those living in emergency, transitional or social housing. We call this the sharper end of the continuum, the sharper end of the housing continuum. And many of the people that use our services are living in this kind of um, housing situation. There is some encouraging news in this year's report. For example, consents for building houses and the actual building of houses is going crazy right throughout the country, especially in the big cities. For example, between 2020 and 2022, housing consents jumped by 42%. And places like Wellington, Northland, Nelson and the West Coast are showing massive housing production. And the social housing register started to decline for the first time after many years of steady increases. And also, house prices have declined again, which is good news for first home buyers and investors. But there's still some major challenging pieces that remain for this housing jigsaw puzzle. For example, the rental market continues to remain extremely tight. Across the country, rents have steadily increased, especially in the lower North Island and right across the South Island. And additionally, average household debt has increased again this year, and that's directly related to more housing and consumer and credit card spending from families, which again shows the cost of living and financial pressures that people have. And even though house prices have declined, this means there is more pressure on those who are homeowners, those who are battling high interest rates. The cost of living in the housing picture are huge in this year's report. The costs in housing from this year's report shows that the overall picture of safe, warm, secure, affordable housing is a far way off for a lot of Kiwis. And we need to keep working on this difficult jigsaw puzzle, especially for those in the sharper end of housing. By God's grace, the more we work on the complex housing jigsaw puzzle, the more we can see that people have strong and stable housing options that become foundations for strong lives, strong family units and strong communities. Isn't that the overall picture that we want for all New Zealanders? 